Today I'm going to show you how I digitized some of the sketches that I did on my previous video and the tools I'm going to be using are Adobe Illustrator and a bamboo tablet. Hello, my name is Virginia and I'm a graphic designer. This channel is all about creativity and the design process. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you like it, please consider subscribing or giving it a thumbs up because it's really gonna help me. So the first thing I do when I'm digitizing a design is either scanning or taking photographs of, the, of my sketchbook. So it always depends what process I'm gonna follow if I'm gonna be tracing the design, I can just take a, a picture and that's enough. If I want to use the tracing tool of Illustrator, I'll usually scan the image, so I make sure it's flat and the proportions are good, because when you're taking a picture, sometimes you might be taking it with your phone, trying to make sure the phone is parallel to the, to the sketchbook. But to be honest, that's quite hard. So as I said, it just depends on the process I'm, I'm gonna be using. I use Illustrator to trace my designs. So some of the things to consider here are the layering system, which is something I really try to have organized. So I always have one layer for all my sketches and then I start creating layers for each of the, of the different versions I'm gonna be creating. Another thing to consider is the use of shapes. So whenever I have to design something, I try to think on my head, what shapes can I put together to make it easier? So for example, in order to create a heart, instead of drawing the heart with a pen tool, I will probably be using the circle shape tool and then putting two together and join them at the bottom with a triangle shape. Uh, that's a really basic example, but sometimes it's useful to keep in mind that most of the shapes you're going to be tracing can be done by joining multiple shapes that come with Illustrator. I hope that makes sense. Since I have used lettering for most of my designs, I'm using the brush tool on Illustrator and just hand drawing over the sketches. So the brush tool on Illustrator actually creates vectors out of the shapes that you hand draw. So this is very useful on this case because it means I don't really have to use the pen tool to trace every single letter. I can just write it and then adjust it using the points on each of the shapes that I'm creating. Once that I have finished digitizing the design, which is gonna be usually in black and white, I create the color palette that I'm gonna be using. In this case, I want to use some shades of purple just because um, the project I'm working on is about feminism. When I don't have a clear idea of the color or colors that I want to be using, I go to a website and try to generate a color palette from a few different ideas that I might have. So for example, on this case, I will take a shade of purple that I like and then see what other colors look good with it. There are really useful websites like uh, Color by Adobe which give you options to choose complementary colors or analogous colors. So you can choose the color you want to start with and then see what other colors work well with it. I will leave you the link to the website on the description box. One thing that I like to do before I finish the designs is to outline all the shapes. What it does is it takes the original shape you have designed and any strokes you have put around them and creates a shape that contains everything inside. This is very useful when you have, for example, lines that have a certain thickness. So when you outline them, it actually creates a rectangle in this case, or if it's a curved line, it's gonna create a curved shape with the actual thickness that you were working with. By doing this, we avoid problems when resizing the designs, for example. And finally, my last step is to create mockups with the logos or the designs that I'm working on. And this is very useful to see the final design in context, because sometimes just by seeing a flat image, it's very hard to imagine how it's gonna look on a t-shirt, for example, or even on a business card. I tend to use Photoshop with this, as I said, and I usually just find online templates for this, but I will explain more of that on another video. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. 
I hope you liked the video and if you have any questions please just leave them on the comment section and I'll be happy to help. Bye!